Hi, I'm Nita Gill with VegetableFruitCarving.com. I'm going to show you a quick, easy way to transfer carving patterns onto watermelons. In this case, it's a watermelon portrait. This method of transfer is fast and it gives you very clear details that makes it easier to carve your watermelon. You'll see. I'm going to use this transfer pattern paper. And if you like what you see, watch till the end and I'll show you where you can get some transfer pattern paper for yourself. But first, let me show you how it works. This transfer pattern paper comes in two pieces. Print the image that you want to use as the pattern onto the glossy side of this special transfer pattern paper. Once your printed image is dry, take the shiny acetate sheet and peel away the backing just at the top of the page. Once you have the backing peeled away a couple of inches, line up the clear sheet with your printed image and stick them together. Then, peel the backing off the acetate, allowing the entire clear sheet to stick to your printed pattern. Smooth any air bubbles away by pressing and smoothing them to the outside edges of your pattern. Cut away the excess areas outside your watermelon carving pattern. Peel the clear sheet off your printed pattern, which will leave a sticky surface on your printed pattern. Now stick the pattern face down onto your watermelon, starting in the center. Smooth the pattern into place from the middle to the top and bottom, then from the middle to the sides. Continue in this manner until you have smoothed the whole pattern into place. It will buckle because you are putting a flat pattern onto a curved melon but it will be fine, you'll see. Once your pattern is stuck to the watermelon, cover it with a wet towel. After one to two minutes have gone by, you will be able to peel the paper off, leaving the pattern stuck to the watermelon. Pull away the paper completely. Smooth out any wrinkles and press out the air bubbles. Now your pattern is on the watermelon and ready to carve. Wasn't that easy? Now you can simply follow the pattern, carving right through the pattern to make your watermelon carving portrait. Here's how it looks when the watermelon carving is complete. And here's how it looks when the watermelon fruit is removed and it's lit from inside. Pretty cool, huh? This transfer pattern paper works well for making pumpkin carvings too. It will work for easy designs as well as more detailed designs and complex portraits. If you'd like to get some of this easy to use pattern transfer paper, you can find it in my online shop at www.vegetablefruitcarving.com shop. To get there quickly, just click on the link in the description below. If you'd like to learn how to make your own great patterns for watermelon portraits, you can learn how in my Pumpkin Carving Portrait Course video lessons. What's taught in these Pumpkin Carving Portrait Lessons also works for carving watermelons. You can learn more about this complete video course as well as other video lessons by visiting my online shop at www.vegetablefruitcarving.com shop. I hope that you learned something new that you can put to use to create fun watermelon and pumpkin carvings. I'm Nita Gill. I'll see you next time.